Tuangazie taarifa nyingine sasa ambapo Kenya imesifiwa kwa juhudi zake katika kuhifadhi amani kwa kutumia wanajeshi wake chini ya mpango wa umoja wa mataifa nchini Sierra Leone akizungumza akiwa Nairobi kuadhimisha siku ya wahifadhi amani wa umoja wa mataifa duniani rais huyo wa Sierra Leone Julius Maada Bayo alipongeza jeshi la Kenya kwa juhudi zake katika kustawisha nchi hiyo baada ya miaka mingi ya vita Kenya imesifiwa kwa juhudi zake na mtazama mtazamaji Ni wakati wa maadhimisho ya siku ya wahifadhi amani wa umoja wa mataifa siku iliyotengwa kwa enzi wanajeshi na raia kwa mchango wao kuleta amani na udhabiti duniani ambapo rais Julius Maada Bio wa Sierra Leone alisifu wanajeshi wa Kenya kwa amani na udhabiti ulioko nchini mwake People talk about Opande I didn't do it you know alone these are the people who made it happen Akizungumza katika kituo cha mafunzo ya kuhifadhi amani duniani mtani embakasi jijini Nairobi, maada alipongeza jukumu ambalo Kenya ilitekeleza, akisema kuwa nchi yake daima itaishukuru Kenya kwa kuwapa usaidizi wakati walikuwa wamepoteza matumaini. If Sierra Leone today has transitioned after the United out of the United Nations peace building framework and become the fourth most peaceful democracy in Africa, it is because of the contributions and immense sacrifices of your brave, brave soldiers officers and men thank you to the commanders officers men and women of combat contingent deployed in Sierra Leone Rais huyo aliwakumbuka wakenya wani waliopoteza maisha yao wakihifadhi amani nchini mwake mwaka 2000 to the fallen in Sierra Leone i read their names with deep sorrow but great appreciation and gratitude Copra Jeremara Obaya Copra Evans Kamande Private Robert Wanyama Private Kamis Yunis we did not know where their bodies were but when i met with the rebel group uh, uh, group commander whose rebels you know killed those four so, uh, soldiers The first thing I asked him Isa I will not leave Sierra Leone without knowing where our soldiers were killed and I want to take their bodies back home. Rais Maada alisisitiza umuhimu wa ushirikiano katika kupambana na changamoto za nyakati hizi ili kustawisha bara Afrika. When Africa works together, small countries and big countries, real partnerships, real partnerships that are long lasting are forged. We know that peace is won when governments and society join forces to resolve differences through dialogue, build a culture of non-violence and protect the most vulnerable. Kikosi cha kwanza cha kuhifadhi amani kilizinduliwa mwaka 1948 na kufikia sasa zaidi ya wanaume na wanawake milioni moja wamehudumu katika operesheni mbili za uhifadhi amani za umoja wa mataifa. Since then Kenya has contributed over 60,000 men and women to peace support operations all over the world. Nancy Okwari Darubini weekendi.